prevention. The TV icon died of a heart attack while playing hockey at the age of 69. Cardiologists say there are things you can do at the onset of a heart attack that could possibly save a life. Les Trent has more. There are lessons we can all learn from the sudden death of TV icon Alan Thicke. The 69-year-old suffered an apparent massive heart attack while warming up before a hockey game in Los Angeles. Could his life have been saved? Dr. Mehmet Oz told me what to do immediately when a heart attack strikes. First, call 911. Then, lie down so the heart has less work to do. And, chew on an adult aspirin. Aspirin is really helpful. Chew it. Don't swallow it. Chew it. And that way it's in your mouth and quickly absorb and thins the blood so the blood clot that's forming in your body can't complete. Alan Thicke was an occasional smoker but seemed to be in great shape according to his close friend Ken Boxer. He was always playing tennis. He was always playing golf. Uh, always racing around. I also spoke to Thicke's first wife, actress Gloria Loring. Did you know if Alan was had any heart issues? No, nothing. My sons would have said, hey, Dad's having some issues. You know, they would have confided that in me. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News chief health and medical editor, says Alan Thicke's death is a wake-up call to everyone. Half the people who die of sudden heart attack or sudden heart disease never had a symptom before never had a problem. That's why it's so important to take the steps to protect your heart. Many doctors recommend a stress test. So I came to the Morristown Medical Center in New Jersey. Electrodes are placed on my chest and Dr. John Cosby monitors my heart rate while I work on a treadmill. We look to see if the patient feels any pain or discomfort in the chest while they're exercising. That's a potential sign of a blocked artery. And when it's all over, we're looking at a nice normal test here. Mm -hmm. I passed. The best thing you can do to protect your heart, exercise 30 minutes a day if you can. Any exercise you do will help your heart. You're cutting back on the amount of salt, eating a heart-healthy diet, those things can help a lot. Trying to keep your weight in a, in a healthy range, that will help. And then things to reduce your stress, yoga, meditation, those things can bring down those stress levels and help protect your heart. There is a spike in heart attacks this time of year. We're entering those winter months. People going outside, shoveling snow, getting that kind of exercise when it's cold. That's a heart attack waiting to happen. Final lessons for us all from America's Dad. One in four deaths in America are due to heart disease. If you are thinking of starting an exercise program, be sure to consult your doctor first. When we come back, 